Hey there, remote viewers. This is Lori Williams, and this is your PRV Moment. Last week, we talked about the importance of vetting the tasker, knowing who is giving you a task, knowing who's asking you to remote view to protect yourself. So this is kind of part two of that PRV moment, because I want to talk about how important you are as the viewer and how important your health and your safety and your well-being are. Now, I get a lot of letters from people who ask me things like, tell me what the next biggest disaster is. Tell me what if, if this if this thing is a conspiracy. Tell me about this other thing. Tell me, you know, they just want to know and they're scared. And a lot of these questions come from a point of fear. I think it's normal to want to know and to be uh, to go to any resource you could find to get answers. But, you know, they say you can feed a man a meal or you can teach him how to fish, right? Well, you're learning how to fish because you're learning to get your own information. And I'm really proud of you. You're doing great. What I want to talk to you about is your safety and your well-being. As a viewer, number one, normal stuff, eat healthy, eat lots of vibrant, live, fresh food. Now, there are people who hate vegetables, and I'm going to ask you to get over that because vegetables are full of nutrients. Nowadays, we know that a lot of the soil has been depleted, and none of our food is probably as nutritious as it was 100 years ago or 200 years ago. However, we're kind of making full circle with organic foods and replenishing soil, we're currently working with an engineer who has developed wonderful natural things to put in the soil to help bring it back to a really vibrant, healthy state of being. And there are some ways that we could do that that could even reverse global warming and climate change. It could even help in those things. So we're really excited about that. So I want you to know there is hope. Don't get discouraged. There is a lot of hope, even though this is a really crazy time and the world is just really fruity right now, <laughs> really strange. I just want you to know that really good things are also happening to turn things around and help things get better. And they will. But meanwhile, while we're doing this, please make sure that you're getting enough sleep, that you're eating healthy foods. If you can, Avoid processed foods and sugar, and make sure that you're really filling yourself with positive things. It's so easy to get sucked into social media, Facebook, the news, and just get drugged down till you're just so discouraged. Believe me, I know. It happens to me too. But if you take care of yourself, you will fill up on wonderful, inspiring, uplifting things that will give you the ability to help other people because you can't be running on empty, right? We can't run around with our gas tank empty. You really need to be filling up so you have what you need to help other people. Another reason is because if you are filled with fear and you've been reading about all this negativity and conspiracy theories and all these things, it will affect your viewing. It will affect your accuracy because all those things will bleed into your sessions like giant castles and stray cats and AOLs. And that's just not necessary. So take care of yourself and stay really positive. That's very important. Okay, so let's go over it one more time. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. You're eating healthy foods that are full of nutrients, organic if possible, that you're avoiding processed foods that affect your hormones and your moods, especially sugar. It's one of the worst culprits. And make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Get some exercise. It's really good for your brain. It helps those neural pathways form and keeps your brain lively. That's really important. It also really helps your immune system and your moods. Be sure and put your well-being first. A lot of us have been raised to be sacrificial and always put others first. We always used to sing a song, Jesus and others and you, what a wonderful way to spell joy. And I understand that, you know, okay, we're going to have certain priorities, but if you always put yourself last, 
what ends up happening is you burn out. You're like a candle burning itself out at both ends, and then you have nothing left to give to others. And that's not going to help anybody, right? So take care of yourself first as the viewer. Honor your position as a remote viewer. Very few people on this planet know how to do what you have been taught to do. So take care of yourself and make sure that you're staying healthy, positive, and happy, and that you have plenty within you to share with others. That's a big key. Now, one thing I have to tack on to this little PRV moment that I want to share with you is that you have to know when to say no. Sometimes you have to say no. If someone's asking you to view something for them, if you feel like you're too front-loaded, and eventually you'll learn how to get past too much front-loading and view anyway. But if you feel that you're too front-loaded and you say, I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it, that's fine. Just say no. If you get a funny feeling about it, just say no. Follow your instincts, okay? And know when you're just tired and you shouldn't take on anymore and just say no. And that doesn't go just for remote viewing. That goes for, you know, lots of things that you might be asked to help out with. I'm not saying never make a sacrifice. Sometimes it just feels really good to just go the 10th mile and to make a sacrifice. But I'm just saying that know your own limits. Know yourself. If you're tired and you need to take a break, take a break. Remember the first rule of taking a break in remote viewing is take a break. Be sure that you do that. I love talking with you. I've enjoyed this PRV moment with you so much. This is Lori Williams. Join me next week for another PRV moment.